Welcome back. We will start with the expected questions for science and technology today. Now we have already covered the expected questions for health, defense, computers, IT, environment, biodiversity. We will be focusing on science and technology today. I have been receiving requests for more lectures on expected questions on economics and so on. So let's see how much we are able to cover before. I uh, will be trying to cover as much as possible. So now for today we would be talking about the major topics on science and technology. The first of the important news was the development of low cost solar cells. Now these have been made by using jamun that is a fruit and that was discovered by IIT Roorkee. Now the pigment is as in, uh, is a kind of very inexpensive pigment for the photos, uh, uh, photosynthesizers for dye. Now what they use is mainly for the Grenzel cells. These uh, cells are kind of very thin film solar cells which are made of titanium dioxide and what are now they are doing is they are using jamun and they are using ethanol to extract the dyes and the pigment of the jamun that is used as the anthocyanin. So that is very very important. So it was till now the titanium oxide that this Gretzel cells were made of and they are trying to make it from anthocyanin. The next is solar calculation calculator app. Now this application uh, calculates the consumption by solar panel installation. So what would be the expense if you are running on a solar power? So what it does it, it determines the solar energy potential. It provides the various azimuth and angle ele uh, uh, the elevation angles, the duration of the day you have the solar light that sunlight that is coming in, the obstructions in case of the sunlight that is coming in and what could be the suggestions for the best utilization of solar energy. So this was launched by ISRO. The next is Bailey 2 detector system. This has been integrated with the Super KE KB accelerator. Now this is uh, this records the particle processes which are produced by the accelerator. What it does is, uh, what's unique about this is, of the six layers, the fourth layer, which is the most important, which is known as the heart of Bailey 2, has been uh, developed by India by the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. You have various scientists coming in from IITs and other parts of the India. The next is the roll-in process in Bellet 2. Now roll-in is the moving Bellet 2 detector system from, from its assembly area to the collision point and that is again very important to understand. So all the uh, particle interactions are studied under this. The next is world's largest artificial sun. This has been created at Julich. It is known as sink light and it is a kind of honeycomb structure with 149 spotlights. So you have a kind of honeycomb web structure that could be seen here and that has considers or creates the world's largest artificial sun. It uses xenon short arc, uh, short arc lamps and it produces an equivalent of 10,000 times amount of solar radiation by focusing the complete array on a single 8 by 8 spot. The next is the world's large, third largest hypersonic wind tunnel. This has been developed by uh, in Trivandrapuram by ISRO and India is the next country after United States and Russia to develop it. This includes 500 walls, has 2 km of pipeline, 41 electric motors, 35 pumps, numerous instruments and cables and this is a unique initiative to help design the space transportation system because this hypersonic wind tunnel would be a unique innovation for space researchers. The next is neutrino project. This neutrino project was planned beneath the rock cave in Tamil Nadu border that was around 1 km from Kerala Tamil Nadu border and it was in the Bodhi West Hills in Thani district of Tamil Nadu. This was again very close to the park, uh, the Shola National Park in Iduki and therefore it has been banned by the or suspended by the National Green Tribunal. But the idea for this neutrino project was this would be a kind of underground tunnel which would be around 1200 meters long and this laboratory would be protected from the cosmic background because it would be underground or beneath the rock. The next is new form of hydrogen. This is again a very unique uh, invention. Till now what we were familiar was only the H positive ions or the positive ions of hydrogen. However, this has discovered the negative ions of hydrogen. What it does was 
a cold helium liquid was injected into the hydro hydrogen to form clusters with a neutral charge once infused it formed the uh, it was uh, brought in front of the electron beam and there were hydrogen uh, hydrogen which was found which were ionized with negative charge so that was the first time you have the negative hydrogen that was seen the negatively charged hydrogen the next is bacteria powered batteries now this is also known as bio batteries these are mainly used in paper tonics that is fusion of paper and electronics uh, bio batteries run on a single paper sheet and they are usually used to uh, used for disposable electronics now there are two ends the positive and the negative so the positive end is the silver nitrate on a piece of chromatography paper with a small wax coat on the negative side you have the polymer which acts as a negative charge and on the negative side you have few drops of bacteria containing wastewater liquid so with this you create a battery and that is used mainly for the disposable electronics the next is world's most heat resistant material hafnium carbide is now considered as the world's most heat resistant material and it can withstand a temperature of up to 4000 degree celsius new laser heating techniques are used to find this temperature recorded till now it was thenalium carbide and hfc which were melted both of these are refractory ceramics so they reflect the rays that come in they have extraordinary resistance to heat and where they would be used they are experimented for the hypersonic aircraft which have a speed of more than match 5 because these high uh, speed aircrafts produce a lot of temperature by friction and therefore you would require these heat resistant material there the next is below the island of mauritius there has been a lost continent has been found in the indian ocean that was left over from the breakdown of the gondwana land which we have already talked in the class on uh, the continental drift the study shows this uh, island that has been found beneath the indian ocean has a lot of proportion of zircon this zircon is 3 billion 3 billion years old occurring in the form of granite and has trace amount of uranium thorium and lead that has been seen the next is graves 3 telescope now this graves 3 uh, that is gamma ray astronomy pev energizer space 3 experiment aims to detect the solar radiation has been established in the octamur district in tamil nadu what it does is it detects the propagation of storms from the l1 point or lagrange point lagrange point is a point where you have the satellites if they are placed at the l1 point uh to orbit both the sun and the earth so that is how we understand the l1 point and the importance the next is super critical technology this is a boiler water technology where the temperature reaches the super critical level and uh, the boiler is heated above the critical pressure and therefore the water is directly converted into steam without being uh, uh, kind of losing uh, any energy for or any energy being consumed so it's direct conversion from water to steam it therefore improves the efficiency it uses it's a kind of low cost fuel it is uh, reduces the carbon dioxide emission that could be seen and in india who has been working on it is the ntpc and the bail the benefits are being used under the clean development mechanism of the unfcc the next is the four new elements that are discovered these are nihonium moscovium tenesium and organisson both of four of these have been uh, named as element 113 15 17 and 18 these are the older names for the elements uh, we have the expected classes that would be uploaded at the exam day so you can take out the handouts from there the next is of these moscovium is derived from the name mosco tenesian is based on the names of the state tennessee in united states where you have the oak ridge national laboratory organisson is based on the name of the yuri kagresian who helped discover many super heavy elements and this is the second time in the history the name of an element has been put after a person the first time it was done for the element 116 which was seaborgium which was named after glen t seaborg so this is the second time in the history you have an element in the periodic table that has been named after a living person so these are the four elements that are newly discovered element 13 15 17 and 18 again important 
The next is graphene. Graphene is an allotrope of carbon. It's very resistant. It has a kind of 2D shape, honeycomb structure. It's 100 times stronger than the steel. And the world's thinnest light bulb has been created from graphene. So graphene, as you can see, has been used in construction, wings of the aeroplanes, flame retardants, wind turbines, and other places. This is the crystalline or the honeycomb structure of the graphene that is seen. Now the most important is, nowadays we are trying to extract or make soya be, uh, graphene from soya bean. This is known as graphene technology. So soya bean oil is transformed into the graphene uh, films and this breakdowns the carbon when the heat is applied. This graphene is around one atom thick. As we said, it's the strongest and the lightest material that could be derived from carbon. It has very good conductivity and is used in very uh, numerous thermal and optical instruments. The next is PFTBA, that is perfluorotributyl amine, which is a liquid. Now what are done here, you can see this is the ammonia N and ammonia being rather being attached with hydrogen is being attached with the fluorine and these fluorines form the three butyl motiles that could be connected. They are used in the electronic industry and they are considered most radiatively efficient chemicals and they affect the environment. So they are harmful for the environment. The next is the API ingredients. Now the drug has two ingredients. The first is the API that is the chemically active one which produces the desired result in the organism when given. The other is the excipient that is inactive or inert. For example, a child when given a dose is given a liquid paracetamol let us say for fever. So that liquid is the excipient or the inactive constituent of the drug and the active constituent is the small amount of paracetamol that is mixed into that liquid. So that is the API or the active pharmaceutical ingredient. The next is the silica aerogel, aerogel, aerogel sorry, that is the world's lightest synthetic material that has been discovered. It is also known as blue air or frozen smoke discovered by ISRO and it is used on the moon, uh, the Chandrayaan 2 mission of India. It is made 99% from the air and has a very good thermal resistance that could be seen. The next is potassium bromate. This was in the use because it, was, it is heavily being used in bread industry and wheat flour industry. This has been banned by uh, the food corporation in India considering that it is a kind of food addictive and it can lead to cancer and other diseases. It has been categorized in the same category as you have the coffee, aloe vera, mobile phone radiations and the black carbon that is being seen. It is less toxic than the processed red meat. The next is potassium chlorate. Now there was recently a disaster at the Putingal Devi temple in Kolam, Kerala. This disaster was caused by the banned chemical or the banned explosive which is potassium chlorate. It is used in the explosive industry to produce beautiful colors but it is uh, very harmful and therefore has been banned. It is also used in toy guns, matches sticks uh, and it is very cheap and easily available. The next is uh, the pharmacovigilance program. Now this is to monitor the adverse drug reactions to safeguard the public health. However, there are three states which are still not following the adverse drug reaction monitoring centers. Those are Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram and Nagaland. This has been run by the Ministry of Health and Family Affairs and coordinated by AIMS New Delhi. The next is National Biotechnology Development Strategy. Now this attracts investment under the Make in India scheme. So you have new biotech products that are coming up. All of these require uh, research and development and commercialization. They are based on skilled workforce. They make their own supply of vaccines and antibiotics and they also have this dual degree program that talks about considering the core scientific subject and their economic ap applicability. So both of these are covered under the same head. The next is Regional Center for Biotechnology Bill. It seeks to establish a regional center for biotechnology. This has been established under UNESCO. This bill has been declared as an institute of national importance and it would work around to impart education. The next is CSIR NBRI Herbarium Online. It now has more than 1 lakh herbarium, on, 1 lakh herbarium online worldwide. 
it has been run by ministry of science and technology now one of the varieties of rice that has been uh, declared by csir and bri is mukta shri that has a low arsenic uptake the next is herbi chew this is a product that replaces cancer for the people who are used to chewing tobacco based gutka so this chew uh, would be a kind of healthy replacement for the people who have a habit of chewing tobacco the next is gm cotton in the india the only crop that has been accepted in india for genetical modification experiments or genetically modified crop is the cotton now two variants of these have been used the pop bt1 and the f1861 both of these what they do they are introduced as the bt bacterial gene and they kill the woolworm pest that has been commonly seen so there are three varieties which carry the arc the cry ac gene the one ac gene which is being obtained from this bacteria and these impart the resistance against the bulbum pest now the cloud seeding project this has been run by maharashtra government at the cost of nearly 250 crores the idea is to uh, spray silver iodide and dry ice on the clouds and once the clouds accumulate around this silver iodide artificial rainfall would be seen and this is what is known as cloud seeding which causes rainfall by artificially clouding around or nucleusing around the silver iodide that has been sprayed the next is thabar thabar is a rubber like material as the name we can see it has high thermal conductivity and elasticity it is a kind of soft elastomer which is non toxic and is liquid the next is telemetry and telecommand processor this has been released by isro again under the make in india project it is used in spacecraft geostationary uh, uh, orbits it meets both the uplink and the downlink requirement for ccsd that is the consultation committee for space data systems and it has been developed on the field program programmable gate array the next is five new sub atomic particles that have been discovered discovered by cern by the large hadron collider so these are the particles now the most interesting things is the numbers that are written beyond the particle indicates their mass in mega electron volts and these new particles are in the excited stage of the omega c0 so all of these are omega c0 and they have different numbers and these number indicate the mass of the the mass in mega electron volts now omega c0 is basically baryon and this baryon has three quarks two of which are in the strange state and one is in the charm state now this decay when the strong force comes into another baryon and it decays into zc plus and the kion k minus and the zc plus further decays this further decays into proton kion minus and pion that's p plus now what is the world's thinnest lens it is 2000 times thinner than a human hair it can be made of a crystal of molybdenum disulfate it has been used in medicines science and technology and bendable tvs the new concept of bendable tvs that has come up and the bendable computer screens which can be uh, folded or bended the next is vidyut perv this is a mobile application which provides the real time uh, power availability in the various villages in india it provides the information of the current demand the shortage and the surplus to the power exchange and this has been run by the ministry of power with this we cover the major or the expected questions for science and technology we will be covering another class on science and technology where we will be focusing on the basic concepts in science and technology have a good day ahead